So, as many of you guys will know by now, Ark Survival Evolves new DLC, Extinction, was announced last week. Now, there's been lots of different mixed reviews on this, and um, I personally quite like it, but there's been this big topic on, has this game become too fu futuristic, and will the new sort of tech stuff destroy the main aim of the game, which is on dinosaurs? Now, I want to hear what you guys think about this in the comment section down below, because it's something that I've thought about for a while since seeing this DLC has been released. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see what you guys think about this video and this topic in general. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, as always, make sure to drop a like, because it really does mean a lot to me, and I want to thank everyone for the constant support you have been showing on the channel. Now let's just get straight into things because we're going to be talking about Ark's new dino, which I don't even know if I can call it a dino, I'm talking more like an Ark new robot which is coming to the game, which could end up, you know, killing off the dinos, and I wouldn't really, like, not like obviously just killing them out of the game, but I just mean, they it might just make dinosaurs useless in the future for Ark, which is why the game became popular in the, in the first place, because everyone was like, wow, a free roaming dinosaur game, and the idea that there's so many, like, synthetic things in the game now, this could take over the dinosaurs. Now, the reason why I say this is because what you see from the trailer, you guys will be seeing the trailer, um, you know, every now and then in the background of the video. Um, what you'll be seeing from it is this first, the first synthetic thing, which is called an enforcer, which I'll tell you guys a bit more about it, actually starts attacking the Giga. The Giga is the biggest, well, one of the biggest things in the game and most dangerous and can literally eat you and destroy you in like two bites, depending on what your armor is on the game. But that is being, and nothing ever attacks it, but this little synth synthetic dinosaur, well not even dinosaur, creature, robot, it has attacked it. And it just, in my eyes, I feel like this could take over, and if Ark want to make a robot game, then why don't they just make a separate robot game and leave Ark to being a dinosaur game? I know a lot of you guys will be like, Dom, is this going to just be a rant video and stuff and you may not agree with me, but I just want to get this, like, you know, this sort of thing that I've been thinking out off, uh, you know, thinking about off my chest because I really don't want this to ruin the game. I don't want it to become a robot game. I personally am someone excited for this uh, new DLC because it's something new and it's something we haven't seen before, but I've seen so many people saying they're not going to get the, ex the Extinction DLC, which is unfortunate because they are looking for new content with Ark and, th you know, that's not what they want. Want because they want they they play Ark to be able to raise new dinosaurs and have and tame dinosaurs. They don't want robots. But obviously, I'm going to be talking a little bit about this new synthetic dino which attacked the Giga, which is called the Enforcer. As I did say, it can climb walls, it can strafe, and it can make short jumps via teleportation. Now, obviously, I mean, climbing walls is fine because there's obviously the dino in the game. What is it called? The Megalosaurus or something like that. I don't know. I've probably got the complete wrong dino there. Um, I can't think of it. It was one of the newer ones. It's been probably out for a year now, but it's one of the most recent dinos that have been added in before the game went into um, the full release. That can obviously climb walls and climb rocks and stuff, which is fine. And it can make big jumps just like how, um, obviously, the Gallimimus can make or the Raptor and stuff. But making short jumps via teleportation... Is that too overpowered? You can literally be able to make... Could you teleport through someone's wall? Like, I don't know. There must be some sort of um, cap on how on, on how it's going to work. Because, obviously, you build walls to stop people from raiding you in your PvP. So, there's no way that you're going to be able to jump, teleport through someone's wall. That would just wouldn't work. So, there must be some sort of barrier um, to be able to stop this. And the Extinction DLC worries me the most for people that play mainly official servers for PvP. Even people that have do like a, like their own dedicated server for you know mainly PvP because it, you know because this could destroy it like some of the things if they don't do it right we all know Wildcard is a game that, that makes mistakes every now and then I know I'm not just saying it's just Wildcard that does that but you know this is very dangerous for PvP because there isn't just um, you know there isn't just this new Dino that could destroy Gigas and stuff and teleport through things but it you know this there's so many other things that we're going to be talking about in this video which is dangerous and I mean I feel like this will be a great single player experience but is it going to be a great experience for people that play online 
So obviously I want to talk a little bit about some of the other things that are coming with the game. So we've seen the gas bags and I personally love the gas bag. I thought this would be so something so funny um, where you can basically blow up um, a, a like a, well, a dino or something or some sort of creature and then it goes in like it inflates and becomes like a hot air balloon and you can fly it in the sky. Now I don't know if this is something you're going to be able to control or if it's just going to take you within any way it wants. I'm sure you'll be able to control it but I don't know how that's going to work and is going to be a saddle or are you going to be able to lay on it? I like the idea of the gas bag. I think it's something funny and something, you know, unique. And there isn't anything futuristic and stuff. But what we obviously also see within this trailer is something which, again, they need to make sure isn't too overpowered and too futuristic is we actually see um, the, like, the scout drones that people, can, that, you know, you can remotely be piloted by players. Now, what also you can do with these scout drones is you can put C4 onto them and use them as some sort of, like, explosive to put into someone's base. Again, this links to it being way too overpowered because if, like, on an official server, you could just, you wouldn't even have to attack someone's base. You could just send drones in there with C4s. And this reminds me of the same problem as when people would get the giant turtles, um on arc and put c4s all over them and then dropped into the base and they just used that as just something could wipe out someone's uh, entire base and that was obviously nerfed so are they going to make sure they do this right as soon as they release it because um i don't know it's going to be interesting to see how that works and you can scout you can tag enemies within within this so you you know exactly where they are now i don't know i'm excited for this because it's something it's a new item it's something brand new into the game but is it just too much i don't no, I just like it this doesn't seem like arc to me. I know tech's in the game and I you know I use tech and uh, it's great, but I just don't know whether this is just too much because of of it being just some futuristic really good drone that I don't know how quick it's going to be. I need to, I think they need to make sure the movement speed on it is quite slow, otherwise they're just going to be it's just going to be able to paste through everywhere and you're not even going to be able to take it down. So I feel like you've got to be very sneaky with it. It's slow. Um you there's a certain amount of C4 that you can put on it, you know, not too much that could literally wipe out someone's base in one explosion. Um so yeah, that's going to be interesting to see how that is going to be working into the game. Now, all the normal stuff from Aberration as well is coming back straight, you know, into the DLC, but like the um, the gliding, the zip lines and different things like that, climbing picks, and so that's great. I feel like that was perfect to be added into the game, literally a perfect addition. Like, I don't feel like they could have thought of anything better than that. But something again, moving on to something like, you know, what could be too futuristic and too overpowered is the cryo chambers. You can now freeze, well, when the DLC is released, you can be able to freeze the creatures into an ice cube form and carry them around in your pocket as some sort of pocket monster. And then you can deploy them whenever you need. So the cubes will actually slowly, like, sort of dec decrease in time, like, spoil time and stuff if they're in, if they're in a pocket. And, but they are very heavy. Now, this is a way that apparently is good to be able to trade dinosaurs with other players. So you'll be able to sh uh, use the cryo chamber to shrink a dino and then into a cube form and then sell it to someone else. But if you, if someone does end up killing you on the game, they can just steal your cube and claim that dino for theirs. So that's going to be something risky. But again, is this going to be way too overpowered? You could literally just walk into someone's base and have about five um, giga cubes on you and then all of a sudden just... Uh, spawn them into their someone's base like some sport uh, like cheat code commands like you can do on single player I don't know I could be looking into this too much and um, I you know I have I have faith in wildcard that they're gonna make sure this is um, as you know as perfect as possible for the game so I do need to stop giving it you know giving it too much hate because I'm, well, I'm not giving it hate at all I'm one of those people that's on the side of this extinction DLC and is gonna cover lots and lots of gameplay on it but I, what I just hope that wildcard don't do is over overdo it with the futuristic side of things. I know the game start, it didn't start out just to be a primitive dinosaur game. It started out to be, um, you know, a futuristic game because that's why the obelisks were there at the start. That's why tech was added in and all of this different stuff. But I just don't want the idea of, a, it, a, you know, a dinosaur survival game to be destroyed by and become robot survival game because robots are basically going to take over. Another interesting thing, which is to finish off the video, is how they're going to link this into their sequel for Ark Survival Evolved 2. Because if everything is all tech, are they going to go straight again to the bottom where they just had dinosaurs? Or are you going to start straight off with Ark Survival Evolved 2 
in a robot land. I, it's just interesting to find out. And it's hard to make a sequel for a survival game, in my opinion. Obviously, you've got FIFA, where you can just do FIFA 18, FIFA 19, or Call of Duty, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, because they're just moving on to different games. But a survival game, making a, a sequel, is going to be interesting to see what they'll do different. Um, obviously, with, um, with Minecraft, they didn't do a sequel, because it's just a game you can constantly keep updating and adding new things in. But that did obviously end up dying out, so is it a good idea for Wildcard to make a second sequel to the game? Because I'm sure if Minecraft made a Minecraft 2 and released it everywhere, and like it would probably have a lot of hype behind it. So maybe by Wildcard doing this, it's a great idea. But anyway, that is going to be the end of the video. It's something that I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. See if it works, see if it goes well. Um, because it's, it's a very big topic in my opinion, because this is a huge game changer. And it'll be interesting. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you guys later.